Rupert Murdoch says he could withdraw his support from Labour at the next election. He says the jury's out on whether his newspapers will back the Conservatives instead. In an exclusive interview for you with 10 o'clock news, Mr Murdoch admits he's now torn between the two parties. Also tonight, the Minister for Children apologises but still faces calls for her to quit. A mixed response as Bush says he'll meet families of British soldiers killed in Iraq. And the proud royal father tells how his wife and new baby are reunited. Good evening. Britain's most powerful media baron fired a warning shot across Labour's bowels tonight as he said the party could not rely on his support at the next election. Rupert Murdoch, owner of The Sun and The Times newspapers, told the 10 o'clock news the jury... Still to come on tonight's programme, the FA on the defensive as it admits the England selection saga is unacceptable. Um, I'm starting to feel uncomfortable about us working in such close proximity every day and me knowing so little about you seems, uh, seems elitist and wrong. Why Britain's biggest screenwriter says he's had enough of romantic comedies. It's taken nearly a week, but the Countess of Wessex has finally been reunited with her baby daughter. Prince Edward said it was a great relief and joy that the family... And the main news tonight, Rupert Murdoch has said he could withdraw his support from Labour at the next election. The media baron says the jury is out on whether his newspapers will back the Conservatives instead. The Minister for Children, Margaret Hodge, has apologised to a victim of sexual abuse for describing him as extremely disturbed. And Prince Edward has spoken of his relief and joy as his wife and new baby are finally reunited. And uh, just a reminder, you can see Jeff Randall's interview with Rupert Murdoch in full on Newsnight, which is getting underway now over on BBC Two. But from all of us on the 10 o'clock team, have a great weekend. Good night.